I really love hunting wild brown raven hunting with dog. However, hunting over bait has its charms as well. It's also a very good opportunity to get an impression of how big wild boar population you have on your hunting grounds. So today we are hunting on a baiting station, um, but normally we don't hunt on baiting station during the crop season in summer. Uh, but this time on this hunting ground, uh, they're mainly forest, so the wild boars doesn't do any damage in the crops. Uh, and also we need a pig for a barbecue party, so uh, that's why we're going to hunt there today. Uh, we've been out uh, two days in a row. Um, but I haven't seen anything, so this time we're out approximately two and a half hours earlier than before. So uh, we're hoping that they're out tonight. the baiting station. Um, we can clearly see that there are uh, corn on the ground left uh, from the feeder, so the wild boar hasn't been here yet. Um, it's a lot of rain today, but I don't think the wild boars are getting affected by it. Um, but we hope for the best. After approximately 90 minutes, the first group to hit the bait is a group with two big females and uh, 12 young piglets. One can learn a lot of just observing the wildlife. For example, this time we can clearly see that it's two big sows and a group of uh, 12 piglets coming out on the bait. After just a couple of minutes, one of the big sows are leaving the group and the other ones, uh, one big sow and all the piglets are staying on the bait for at least one and a half hour be before they are leaving. During this time the first sow didn't come back. So what can we learn from this? What I think we can learn from this is that if this sow is wandering away from her piglets and go out for example in the crops the hunter uh, are uh, protecting the crops from the wild boars. It's very easy to think that the sow don't have any piglets. But uh, here we can uh, see very clearly that this sow is leaving her piglets for at least one and a half hour. So what I think is that every hunter hunting wild boar during the period of the year when they have uh, young ones should be very careful shooting big adult wild boars and take into consideration that they maybe have piglets left outside the, the area where you can view. It doesn't take long after the first group have left until the next group are arriving at the bait. This time it's the kind of wild boss we are looking for.
The normal color for wild boss are black, or as in this case when they are young, red-brown. There is a genetic deviation that can make them multicolored. The multicolored uh, alternative is not desirable, so we try to shoot them in first hand. This deviation has nothing to do with the uh, wild boss being mixed up with domestic uh, pigs, as many think. It's just a genetic deviation. small group of the wild boars coming out of the baiting station um, could all of them were so to say shootable uh, in the right size but uh, we were trying to get the black and white one um, but as they were going away probably because uh, the group that came earlier has uh, eaten up all the corn um, that's why they were going away so quickly um, so we had to take one of the others, uh, the last one, um, but it felt good, uh, so now we're going, uh, going to look to see if there's any blood. It must be somewhere here. Did you see any closer where it was? I think maybe it can be some couple of meters further down the trail. Yeah, I found blood here. Yeah, it looks really good. What kind of blood is it? Yeah, it lungs, definitely lungs. Can you point so, it out? Yeah. So uh, it shouldn't be too far from here. Okay. So I think we'll uh, go and get our young dog to uh, trace it up. Um, so he gets a little bit of training too, because the wild boar should absolutely be dead after a shot of this kind. Yeah. Hello, what's wrong? <laughs> Uh, no, no. Take it easy. Oh. Oi. Yeah, so then 
We'll try to find the wild boar. One. So we're back at the blood track. Uh, so maybe we we'll try to calm uh, Patron down a little bit so that he can focus. There's a lot of new impressions for a young dog with lots of wild boar smell. So get him just to focus on the blood track. Easy, easy. Oops. Easy. He's absolutely on the right track now. His blood all the way. Yes, here's more blood. Yeah, where is he? Yeah, more blood. Take it easy, easy. Go on the track. Oh, easy. Okay, here's blood. No, not that way. There's no blood. Blood goes in this direction. Yeah, oh. yeah here it is. Yeah. Yeah. So we finally found it. What's that? Yeah. Is it a pig? Yes, so finally we found the pig um, and we found a lung blood uh, on the shot place, um, but it's uh, nice to find the actual pig also. Uh, we can see that the bolt entered here um, and we can see that it exited here on the other side. So uh, we shot with 308 Winchester uh, and it's run approximately 100 meters from the place we shot it. So, uh, but what do you say, Patreon? We're going home now? <laughs> I think so. Our goal for the evening has, has been fulfilled. Now we have a lot of good meat for the summer barbecue. However, when we film, we sometimes when we come home and can see the film on a bigger screen than the little monitor we have on the video camera out in the hunting rounds, we notice stuff that we have missed hunting. And uh, probably some of you already noticed this since you are looking on a big screen. And we are sorry to notice that our hunt was not that textbook example that we wished for. Both me and Oliver had dismissed the first four wild boars since we thought they walked out through the left. But what we can see on the bigger screen that uh, the multicolored wild boar had walked in in the high grass and was behind the wild boar that Oliver shot. Uh, the only reason we show this is that uh, we think that this kind of situation many times happens out when we are hunting and we don't have any cameras with us. And uh, this is a possibility for us to show that many times the reality isn't what we uh, have the impression on when we are out in the forest. We have so much focus on the animal we shall shoot and the situation, so we can easily miss small details. And it humbles you when you can notice this afterwards. And uh, hopefully we will learn from this, hopefully some of you will learn and be even more careful looking for other animals in the terrain before taking a shot. In this particular case, we was out the day after, or not me myself, my good friend Frederick, I had no possibility to go with the camera. 
uh, and looked uh, for blood and uh, tracks for the other pig and uh, analyzing the video we think that the uh, bullet going through the first pig have missed the pig in behind and we can't, couldn't find anything that uh, was a sign on that that, that peg, pig should be hit as well. However, uh, this is the situation and hopefully we can learn from it. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, do not miss out on uh, any further videos we will present here on YouTube. So hit the subscribe button. 